joined by Gerard Clark and Daryl Tyler of Lee School 2. Gerard, 10.6 rebounds. You were really the force that brought out that 15-point lead when it was getting close towards the end. What were you trying to tell your teammates to get them to focus, make sure you didn't give up the big lead? Um, just got to keep the intensity and play hard. Looking at your, your team and looking at the other team, a lot of size on the other team, but you guys really dominated down low. You were able to feast in the paint. What is your goal against a team that has the same kind of size as you? Do you see it as a challenge or is it just another thing you have to overcome? Just another thing I have to overcome. You know, we face hard teams all the time. We just got to play better. Coach said that you guys didn't play that well. How do you evaluate your team's play knowing that you could have even played better? Um, not trying to think we could just run through every team. You know, we got to play with intensity the whole game. Thanks so much for your time, Gerard. Congratulations on the win. Coach, it might not have been your best game, but a great comeback on the other side. What does it mean for your team to show that resilience and not give in after the Doe All-Stars came back from such a big deficit and almost made it a one-possession game? Oh, well, we tell them all the time, the game's not over till that horn blows. And we had a 15-point lead. And they kind of slacked off. And we told them, don't slack off because teams are going to keep coming at you until, I mean, it's a championship game, so they're going to keep trying to get at you. We told them, don't slack off, keep playing. A championship nonetheless. There's got to be some things to be happy about. Looking at this year's team, what made this group special? Well, we had a great center in Gerard. Our, our point guards play well. Their intensity in the game, they, they, they work hard. I mean, that game to me wasn't, wasn't their best game, but they kept it at a level where they knew they could win. Well, keep it short. Lee School's two for two today. Can they make it three for three in the next game? This is going to be a tough. This is going to be a tough game. All these kids on Lee School two is 16, so it's going to be a good game. But I'm going to say yeah. Well, we'll see that next game in just a few minutes here on BNN. Stick with us, guys. Take it away.